This is Teachable Moments with April podcast, and you guessed it, I'm your host, April. If you're a returning listener and a part of the Teachable Moments with April podcast family, welcome back. For those who are checking me out for the first time, well, hello and welcome. To everyone listening, be encouraged and look for the teachable moments that are all around us. Enjoy. The perfect gift for your space bun sporting, constantly caffeinated ray of sunshine geometry teacher, Venmo loved by you and your spunky teacher too. Check everyone off your list with a Venmo gift card. A prayer for caregivers. Our Heavenly Father, we thank you for the selfless hearts of caregivers. We admire their unwavering dedication in the face of adversity. Bless them with your divine strength and wisdom as they care for others. May your love and grace shine upon them, sustaining them in their journey. In your Son, Jesus Christ's name, we pray. Amen. One of the most difficult and harrowed experience of this human journey is to care for a loved one whose health is failing. For months or years, caregivers tend to the needs of others, often at the expense of their own. Yet some conclude caregiving is the greatest blessing of their lives. What are the spiritual aspects of caregiving that can make it meaningful? And how can caregivers be supported even through their own exhaustion and grief? Today's content is from Strength and Grace, Daily Devotions for Caregivers by Guideposts. Today's devotional is entitled, The Lifted Veil. We look at Psalms 119.50. This is my comfort in my affliction, for your word has given me life. It's strange the things that stick in our memories, or don't. Mom and I were out for the day. As I was bringing coffee back to our table, someone accidentally bumped me, and the two full cups of coffee hit the floor, splashing my legs and my skirt. Are you all right? Mom said, jumping up to help me. Her Alzheimer's receded, and she suddenly became Mom again. She grabbed some napkins. Let me look at you, she fussed, wiping my skirt and checking my legs. Thankfully, I hadn't been burned. I'm okay, Mom, I said. I'm fine, really. And look, they've even brought us some more coffee. Mom and I sat back and drank our coffee in the summer sunshine. We talked and laughed and chatted the accident forgotten. When dad picked us up to take us home, I was so surprised to hear mom tell him about the spilled coffee. She'd remembered. These days, she wasn't remembering much of anything about her activities. It was as if the veil of Alzheimer's had been lifted momentarily. For me, having my mother back for those few short minutes was what I'd remember. Dear God, Thank you for all beautiful moments of respite from illness, no matter how brief, by Miriam Green. With more reasons to grin, more reasons to glow, and more reasons to go than ever before, is Stone Mountain Park's biggest and brightest pumpkin festival ever. As the sun goes down, the glow goes up. With a parade, grinning, glowing wonders, and an all-new world's largest pumpkin drone and light show. Only at Stone Mountain's Park's Play-by-Day, Glow-by-Night Pumpkin Festival. So much to do, so close to home. Plan your visit today. You 
were just listening to Teachable Moments with April Podcast. I truly hope you enjoyed this episode. We invite you to stay connected with us on the other social media platforms of ours, which is TikTok, Pinterest, Instagram, Threads, and YouTube. Also, we'd like to invite you to check out our official podcast landing page on podpage.com slash teachable moments with April to see all our content in one place and leave personal messages, feedback, and more.